Glenn, welcome back to ADK Aquatics, and today I am playing some aquarium related to aquarium related cahoots. And if you don't know what a cahoot is, it's basically a website that allows you to do um quizzes on any subject you want. You can make quizzes and then like if you make them public, you can um anyone on the internet can do them. And it's a very popular platform for teachers to make quizzes about subjects and then give them to students to like check up on their progress, see how they're learning the material. And it's like a fun way to just see how the students are doing. So if you've gone to school recently in like the last decade or so, you probably know what a Kahoot is. But if you haven't, you may not know what a Kahoot is. But anyway, so I'm going to be searching for aquarium related Kahoots and playing those in today's episode. And the the gameplay, I guess, as you'll get into soon, is abrupt in its start, which is why I'm doing this intro right now after, this is after the actual playing was recorded, because I played two games, and I stopped the first one halfway through because it was a really bad quiz. The questions were bad. Um, the filming I did was bad. It was just bad. So I cut to the second quiz I did, which was about aquarium fish diseases, and so that looks pretty abrupt. And also, you'll notice the pictures of the questions, the timer isn't counting down. That's because they're screenshots, and because I made a mistake when I was recording it, where I was recording, screen recording on my phone. But when, and I was also answering on my phone, and Kahoot has it, so on the device you're answering, you can't see the answers on that device, you can only see the options. I mean, you can't see the question on that device, only the options. And so, like, it made it so that if you were to watch it, the video, you wouldn't be able to know what the questions were and what the possible answers were. So I just removed all that, most of that footage anyways, and just put in screenshots so you could actually see what the questions and answers were. So anyways, let's, without further ado, let's get into the actual video. Oh, let's do aquarium fish diseases. That sounds like it'll be good. Um, I'm gonna load it up and then I'm gonna put in the pin once I get it. Okay, seven, five, five, eight, four, two, four. All right, I am in the game and let us let us start it up. Come. <laughs> this camera is like it's so screwed up. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, question one: The organism Udinium causes this condition and gives the fish a gold coating of dust. That's velvet. So let's do a yellow circle. You can't see the options, but the options were hole in the head, ick, fungus, or velvet. And you can tell that it's velvet rather than ick, because ick has the big white dots, but velvet is the small yellowish dots. Okay, question two. This parasite will burrow under the scales and attach themselves to the muscle tissue. Ooh, um, this one's difficult. I'm pretty sure it's fish lice because I know anchor worms are like on the oh I got it wrong it was anchor worms okay so yeah this one is a lot more difficult I'm not that good at parasitic diseases I've never had to deal with fish lice or anchor worms before so that's interesting the most common parasitic ailment well it depends because like a lot of the fish that die we don't know what they die from so I think it's either ick or tuberculosis. Like ick is people think it's the most common because you see it the most. I'm gonna put that, but yeah, okay, it was ick. But like some studies were done that like most fish actually die from like fish tuberculosis. So I'm not really sure if that one's that accurate, but the options on this one were fungus, hole in the head, ick, and tuberculosis. Or fish TB. The body becomes bloated and scales protrude outward. That's going to be dropsy. 
the options on this one were Shimmies, Ick, Cole, and Head and Dropsy. And Dropsy is pretty easy to diagnose because there's obvious physical deformities. What exophthamlos means. Oh, I have no idea what this word means. I'm going to take a screenshot so, and put it up and maybe any of you guys might know what that means. Um, I'm just going to guess and put bulging eye. That seems like I got it right because that seems like something that there would be a disease of. The options were blind, one eye, bulging eye, or pint eye. I don't even know what a pint eye is. Degeneration of tissues between rays of a fin. Yeah, that's fin rot. Okay. Yeah. The options were fungus, fin rot, hole in the head, and tuberculosis. I'm going to have to start going faster to finish this game. Nutrition supplemented with vitamin C has been known to improve the condition of this disease. Oh, gosh. Um... I'm going to guess hole in the head, because hole in the head can sometimes be caused, well, I'm guessing hole in the head. But I don't know what shimmies is. Okay, yeah, it was hole in the head. Because I know hole in the head can either be caused by, like, like water parameters or some other, like, d deficiency. Or it can also be called, caused by some parasites. Those are the two causes of hole in the head. Disease is also known as pine cone. That's going to be dropsies. Dropsies. <laughs> dropsies. Yeah, okay. It's funny because you can't see the options, but I'm going to try to tell them to you as much as possible. Moving fish to a hospital aquarium where water has been treated to keep them there until it's gone. That's... What? Huh? What is the... What is this question asking me? I'm just going to guess... I got it right. White fungus growth. This question was weird. I'm going to put it up on the screen. I'm going to take a screenshot of this question too. Maybe you guys, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you guys can interpret it better, but I have no idea what that question is trying to ask me, but I guessed it and got it right. Are, are all our clues that fish is suffering from illness except dorsal fin erect yeah that one's kind of obvious the options were erratic swimming gasping for air not eating and dorsal fin erect yeah dorsal fin erect that's just a completely normal thing like if it's not erect and it normally is that might actually be a sign of disease like clamped fins like that that is a sign of stress in some fish so you might want to look out for that okay number one problem leading to poor water condition oh well Overfeeding or overcrowded? Because, like, overcrowding leads to overfeeding. They're both so connected. I'm going to put overfeeding. Yeah, okay. Caused by parasites of the genus... Oh, gosh. I don't know. I know it's not ick. Um, I shouldn't get slime disease. Yeah, okay, because I know the one that the ick starts with an I, obviously, and the hole in the head parasite starts with an H, and so I I don't know what the dropsy one is, so I was guessing it's slime disease. Caused by a microbacterium usually affects cold water fish, moves to various tissues and organs. Um, I think it's tuberculosis, but... Because I don't think it's any of those other ones. Yeah, okay. Tuberculosis. The options for that one were tuberculosis, fin rot, slime disease, and dropsy. If you wanted to know. Flat oval-shaped crustaceans that attach themselves to part of the body of the fish with sucking mouth parts. I think that's going to be fish lice, because that sounds like what fish lice would do. Yeah, okay, that was right. The options were anchor worms, tuberculosis, slime disease, and fish lice. Right, 15 to 22. Fish's back may be disfigured because of deformities in the spinal cord. Scoliosis, obviously. The other options were grapsy, tuberculosis, slime disease, and... Oh, wait, those are all the other options. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Of course it's not scoliosis. Does, can fish even get scoliosis? I need to look this up.
Okay, so fish can get scoliosis, so that wasn't completely stupid, but fish tuberculosis, okay. That one was tricky. That was a trick question. Not a disease itself, but an underlying disorders, poor water condition is common, cause, uh oh. I think it's Popeye. Yeah. A fungus organism called Saprolegina causes outbreaks of cotton-like tufts. Probably white fungus growth or mouth fungus? I think this is mouth fungus. Oh, it was white fungus growth. I don't really know the difference. I don't know funguses that well. The options were mouth fungus, white fungus growth, velvet disease, and ick. Okay. Almost done. 18 out of 22. Okay, this is hexameda, which is caused, which is the um, one that causes hole in the head. So I know that one. Dactylogyrus and gyro. Oh my gosh. Can be. That's going to be gill flukes. But here, maybe you guys can tell me how to pronounce this or like something. I'm going to take a screenshot of those words. But yeah, gill flukes. We are almost done. 20 of 22. They pierce the skin with a spine and discharge of poison. Fatal to young fish. I don't know. This was difficult. I'm going to guess anchor war. No, fish lice. Yeah, okay. The options were anchor worms, velvet disease, slime disease, and fish lice. I got it right with fish lice. Okay, actually, yeah, now two questions left. Especially in brightly colored fish or with long trailing fins like the black mollies. I'm guessing fin rot. Yeah, probably fin rot. Okay, fin rot, got that right. When free swimming, they make contact, burrow into epidermis, and mature in four days. I think that's going to be ick. I don't know. Yeah, it's ick. Okay. All right. I got first place out of one. I'm the best. I played against no one, and I won. Wait. I got 19 out of 22, so pretty good. That's a A. Wait, is that, is that an A? That's not an A. Oh my gosh. Well, anyways. Okay. Um. Well, that was a that's that second quiz was much better than the first quiz. The first quiz was kind of like a joke throwaway quiz. But if you want me to do another episode of this, leave a comment and a like, and maybe I could do a live stream of this, like do a live stream and then have all of you guys get in my game that would be really cool so tell me if you want me to do a live stream of this maybe i could make my own quiz and then have other fish tubers do it that might be something else i can do but leave a like if you liked this and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one